Right, everyone, I've got a surprise for you. Check that out. It's in there. I've um, been pulling finger this last week or so. I can't even remember when the last video was that I um, that I posted, but let's get the lamp on, it might show it a bit better. So I've just, just put this in now. And uh, pretty happy with how it's come up. Um, doesn't really show it that nicely in the video, but I quite like the contrast between the red of the block, chrome of the covers, and all the black firewall, which is pretty much what I've been going for. You know, I wanted a bland, nice and bland um, sort of engine bay area with the engine just popping straight out of it, and I think I'm going to be able to achieve that. So, yeah. I've got everything in top coat, all the bat firewalls in top coat. I started putting on the brake booster, um, put the rest of the uh, heater unit back in. Um, I've put in the inner ducting. I don't even know if I showed a video when I put the top of the plenum on, so that's all back down there, all spot welded back in. And uh, so that's pretty. I'm pretty happy with that. The only thing I want to do is I want, I've got some um, seam sealer. I'll run some seam sealer around the edge. And um, well, you probably can't see it, but I've drilled a hole in the back of the um, of the inner part of uh, the heater unit, and that is where those wires are coming out. Remember how I said how I was hiding all the wires for the um, for the heater motor? Well, that's how I got them back out. So they're running into the cabin. Um, of course, as I've said mentioned many times before, this is all going to be hidden wiring all through the guards. Um, but on the other side, I'm actually going to, what I'm also going to do, which I probably hadn't mentioned, is I'm actually shifting the battery to the boot. So, um, so I'll have to run my um, high charge wires down there. And this is what I've got installed for me for the next uh, week or so, sorting out this wiring. This is roughly 35 years of being butchered. Um, the loom in there has been cut up I don't know how many times. It has been to the auto sparky when I got it because it was an absolute mess and I wouldn't know where to start. Well, I didn't really know as much as I know now back then. And he pulled out no less than three different car alarms um, and a box full of wiring. He said it's the worst he's ever seen. He's amazed there wasn't a fire. But um, even then, I'm still not 100% happy with that loom and I want to go through it and uh, double check it and uh, make sure everything's correct. Um, the rest of the engine looms all sitting in that box there. So I'm going to be pulling that out, taking all the insulation tape off, checking every wire, you know, double double checking it where I want to, and um, do it how I want to, which I hopefully think is the correct way. <laughs> but yeah, that's where we're standing at the moment. So uh, later in the week, I should have the rest of the wiring all done up. I don't know when this thing will be started. I've got a coil sitting back there that I'm not 100% sure if it'll be adequate. And the question is whether the electronic distributor that I bought is um, is going to be suitable. I don't know if I've showed that. So, so the original engine this came out with had um, had points point uh, points distributor, and um, you know they're pretty good, but you can only really run them on seven volts. And nowadays you can get high energy ignition distributors and in the 1980s when they were still doing carbureted Holdens they came out with the Bosch HEI distributor which is what I have here. This is a different cap from what you usually get them on. You usually have a nice big cap like this. But what you can do is get a cap of the points equivalent. They look, here's the old one I have off it, they look like that. So this is my old points distributor. They look like that. Um, I had had a crappy aftermarket um, a high energy ignition distributor on it, though I wasn't really 100% happy with it. So I went and got the tried and true Bosch reliability. And I've been through this and bench tested it. It all comes out okay. Greased everything. Someone had gone through and cleaned it, but I hadn't greased it um, when they put it all back together. So I put some grease on the weights and stuff like that. Um, I'm running it with this small cap, basically because I think this big one looks ugly. Um, you can run it with a small cap, you just need to take it all off, and um, it all fits on. It's all the same size, it's all the same size to that one. 
So all you need to do is get either your old cap or a new one, and I believe a um, Falcon XE uh, rotor button will fit the top of it, and will fit this cap. The right, basically the way I know all this is because in things like Holden Tiranas, when they start chucking V8s in them, they don't really have quite enough room in the back for this. So a lot of guys have changed the caps over to this, and I just think this looks a hell of a lot neater. So, there's my electronic Bosch unit. You can tell the difference between the old style and the new style because I've got the ignition modules smacked on the side. Um, one thing, whenever you get a, whenever you go through a distributor, I mean there are other guys, I can post how I rebuild this one if, if anyone wants, I've got the manual down there. But one of the things which you always find in old distributors is pretty much too much inflow. Um, this one's been shimmed up with just steel washers, which isn't the correct, quite the correct way of doing it. Here I've put in, you might be able to see it, I've actually put a fibre washer in the bottom, which is what you're supposed to do. Um, just gives it a little bit of sort of soft movement rather than the, just the crushing force of that of those washers, those shim washers. So when I got this, it had about a mil or two in float in the bottom, which is horrendously bad. So I went through and got a fibre washer the right size and popped that in, and it all measures up to spec. So that's when I get that's what's going to get popped on. Um, like I say, I've bench tested it, but whether it actually goes is Another question, you can never tell, sometimes you can't tell if they're stuffed basically from bench testing it, but that's what we're doing. Um, this is the old alternator that I've got here. Um, the original ones came out with an external regulator. This has been, this is the same ampage um, alternator, 40 amp, but with an internal regulator. I have no idea what they're off, they might be off an early Commodore or something like that. But I've got a 100 amp um, alternators sitting over there that I'll go through and rebuild and clean up. So enough of my rambling. Hope you're happy with the progress. Give us a bell if you want to hear anything else. Cheers.